the Bilbo Puxio fish. Okay, so this fish is Puxio? Hello? Mm -hmm. Is this fish called Puxio? Galungong. 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 Okay. We're, why don't you call it adobo balongong galongong soup? Anyway. Okay, normally you would also add green peppers, green chilies, green, green what? Green chili. Green chili. But because we had the vinegar with the chilies in it, we just put it in there. Uh, so that way we kind of solved the problem of no, not I having put, green chilies. I put only uh, regular vinegar. Uh, that chili that you said, we uh, use that. If, she did, if, she, if it's uh, only, she just screwed up the whole video. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no, I mean. There's not even any liquid in there. Um, she's got it on the thing. Well, there's a little liquid in there. Yeah, but I'm just trying to figure out. Maybe we need some more. Um, what she's putting in there. Um, do you put water in it? Not yet. Not yet. Oh, so you're going to kind of like fry it like that. Mm, oh, so she's going to brown it, people. Brown it. She needs to learn the, the proper etiquette uh, for, for a foreigner. So a foreigner knows what the heck they're talking about. So she's going to brown it for those people that don't know what she's doing, with, like me. She's going to brown it, and then she's going to add a little bit of water. And that would make the soup. Uh. Okay, so see there, it's starting to cook there. She says, oh, and what did she do? What did you do? He says, oh, smell it. Just so smell it. Give, it to, give it to the people and let them smell it. Let them smell it. Ooh. Oh, yeah, you smell it? Yeah, no, and neither did I. <laughs> Oh, it does smell nice. Yeah. Okay, so she added some water, a about a fourth of a cup of water. Yeah. And it's been cooking now for about five minutes. Mm -hmm. And you're going to cook it until done? Yeah. Maybe another, maybe f another ten minutes? Five. Another five minutes. So cook it about ten minutes. So, um, I did taste it. Um, it's good to me. It's, uh, it's good to my pregnant wife, Edelyn. Um, I don't really care for the taste. Um, there's certain things that I don't care for. Um, I'll try it, but there's some things that I just don't care for. Um, I love fish. Mm -hmm. I just have to have a taste for fish. Um, I might have this fish fried um, when we fry it, I might I might have it that way. Um, it's it's sometimes I guess it, it the only thing I can say is is it's it's uh, it, it I, I'm not saying my mood. I think it's based on my taste, my taste buds. If I don't feel if I if I don't feel the taste of it, I, if I can't do the taste of it, I just don't eat it. There's times where I will eat every kind of fish put in front of me. So don't think I am picky because I am not by no means picky. I eat salted fish. Um, the whole works. It just it just depends on how I feel. Depends on how I eat. Whether I eat the fish or not. Huh. Okay, so. It is done. As you can see, it's steamy. Um, Mm. <laughs> um, I don't have a taste for it today. But, <laughs> I told you you're the one who eat this. But my lovely, lovely wife is going to somewhere here. There you go. Somewhere, she's going to fry the fish for me. Yeah. For us, it tastes good. Yeah. And she was talking about the the adobo paksu, okay, um, but she is going to fry this. What's it? What's the fish called again? Galungong. Galungong. 
Kolongong? Kolongong. Okay, Kolongong. I, I just know call what's it. the English of Kolongong. I just call it fish. Looks like a, looks like a sardine. Sardine fish? I think so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> looks like sardine. Sardine fish. Still fish. I mean, I don't know. I don't know really what they would call it in, in English. Um, all I know is uh, I think I'd rather have that than the soup. Oh, you're going to get some, some rice? Mm -hmm. oh. Would you like me to dish it up for you, my love? Isn't she beautiful? Look at that, everyone. Isn't she beautiful? Ganda or Visaya. Guapa. Oh, guapa na. Is it good, Marco? Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Call me, Dr. Okay, so it's just about ready to be turned over. So for those people that do know me, uh, it's nice to have my lovely wife cooking because for those of people that know me, um, I'm not going to say that I don't know how to cook. I know how to cook. I love to cook. I'm a good cook. But my eyes are not that great. So unfortunately, sometimes I can't see very well. Yeah. So I really, it, it's, it's nice to have other people cooking. Um, it might seem like it's bright in here, but to me it's not. It's really, really dark. Um, and even though she's sitting in here, the, to me the table is dark. And on this video it looks nice. Now she'll say that it's nice and it's bright in here and she can see, but the picture, the, what you see in this picture is not what I see. It is darker if I look in real life. So you're seeing lighter because it's absorbing the light. And yeah, it just doesn't work for me. Um, so I have difficulty sometimes cooking to see what's dark, what's brown, and whatever, unless I have a really, really, really nice bright light. Okay, so Adeline, my beautiful, beautiful wife, is almost done cooking that fish. Now that looks beautiful. Now I, I can eat that. I will eat that. It's just sometimes it's the sour, it's a sour taste that some people cook in the Philippines that I just can't stand as far as the fish. Um, uh, you can call me picky, you can call me choosy, you can call me whatever you want, but um, it just, to me, I, I, it, 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 if I don't, if, if it doesn't agree with me on the smelling, I can't eat it. Now, bear in mind, I can eat salted fish, I can eat a lot of different things that are really sour and actually stink, I guess, so to speak. Um, but sometimes I just can't. If I if, if I can't stand the smell, if if I can't, if I don't stomach it, if I don't agree with, if it doesn't agree with me at that point, I will not eat it. So this is my food. I got the fried fish, my rice, and I have the soy sauce with chili vinegar in it for dip and so yeah so I like it that way